After me. Sheikh Hussain. I'll do the Fatiha. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> we we'll start the Fatiha here? No. So, Before we start inside. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. The Fatiha is Barakah. It's blessing. Hussam, can you see? Did you test the sound? <coughs> where is the farmer? Where is the <coughs> two minutes left if we are starting on time? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمنوا بالله ورسوله وأنفقوا من ما جعلكم مستخلفين فيه فالذين آمنوا منكم وأنفقوا لهم أجر كريم وما لكم لا تؤمنون بالله والرسول يدعوكم لتؤمنوا برب بكم والرسول يدعوكم لتؤمنوا بربكم وقد أخذ ميثاقكم إن كنتم مؤمنين
تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها بشراكم اليوم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها ذلك هو الفوز العظيم صدق الله العظيم And now the translation insha'Allah from Surah Al-Hadid, Ayah number 9. Bismillah rahman rahim He is the one who sends down clear revelations to his servant to bring you out of darkness and into light. For indeed, Allah is ever gracious and most merciful to you. And why should you not spend in the cause of Allah? While Allah is the sole inheritor of the heavens and the earth, those of you who donated and fought before the victory over Mecca are unparalleled. They are far greater in rank than those who donated and fought afterwards. Yet Allah has promised each a fine reward and Allah is all aware of what you do. Who is it then that will lend to Allah a good loan which Allah will multiply many times over? Which Allah will multiply many times over for them and they will have an honorable reward. On that day, you will see believing men and women with their light shining ahead of them and on their right. They will be told, today you have good news of gardens under which rivers flow for you to stay in forever. This is truly the ultimate triumph. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. And with that, inshallah, we'll start our program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Usually I pause, I wait for your response, and then it's a weak response at first, and then I ask again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. But unfortunately, under these circumstances, we don't have that uh, little joke to start off. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. To all of you that joined us, Jazakumullah Khair. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing your support. Um, we are in in unprecedented times and we have to, you know, have our program like this. No dinner for you, no no uh, gathering together. But uh, everything from Allah is Khair. And, uh, and we still, of course, have to go on, have to continue. Uh, and we still need your support. So I will uh, briefly give you a rundown of the program for tonight, inshallah. We just had Quran by Sheikh Hussam, Jazakallah Khair. Um, we'll start off, inshallah, by a general presentation, as we usually do, by Brother Adnan on the operations and the budget of the masjid. Uh, next, we're going to have a, after that, we'll have a short uh, question and answer session um, where we have some questions that are frequently asked. Uh, that will be answered by our mashayikh and our leaders, uh, Brother Adnan and Dr. Khalid, inshallah. Uh, after that, we have a short video uh, for you guys of, of our project and our uh, school uh, building, which uh, more information on that will be shared. Then we'll have our main fundraiser, inshallah, uh, followed by a few, a few short talks, inshallah, by our imma, our imams. Um, and a continuation of the main event after that, inshallah, and we will conclude after that, bi'idhnillah. So uh, I will start us off, inshallah, with our presentation from Brother Adnan. A'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Assalatu wassalamu ala rasulina Muhammedin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Jazakum Allah khairan for joining today. Jazakum Allah khairan for supporting this masjid and, and, and being there. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, the, the operation, but before diving in there, I want to give you a little background for most of you who have joined this community uh, after 2000, even after 2015, and really don't know the background. So the seeds of this community actually has been sown in 1980s and 1990s by, by great people. Some of them are still with us. Some of them have moved back and moved on. Uh, but in the late 90s, we started a search for a place to build a masjid. And uh, alhamdulillah, at the end of uh, 1999, we have found this place. It was very appropriate. It was large enough to build the institution that we want to build in Capital District. And in 2000, we purchased the land and we started the construction plans the drawings, architectural designs, going back and forth with the architect, going back and forth with the town, trying to get the zoning approvals so that we can actually build uh, a masjid in this place. Uh, moving forward to 2006, we started the construction. And when we started the construction, we actually had planned, and the original architectural design had three phases, and that was the plan. Uh, that, that the leaders of this community had started with in 2000s. We were going to have a community hall and a musalla, which is what we have right now. On the right side of the building, we were going to have a school building. And on the left, we are going to have a gymnasium. We started the construction, and in 2014, we finished the construction. So it actually took us eight years to build the first phase. Now, there are some questions about... You know, why didn't you uh, direct the start the second phase of the construction, third phase of the construction? And primarily the reason was we didn't have the funds. You know, we were still a smaller community back then. Uh, and uh, in 2014, when we moved to this community, uh, we were getting comments about some of the people coming here saying, you built this place too big. You know, why, why did you need, you know, 800 people, Musalla? You could have built... Uh, older masjid, save money, save time. And, you know, alhamdulillah, the, again, the, the, the people who were involved in the design of this masjid very early on had, had a vision, and we are still carrying that vision. Uh, when we started in 2014, our Jumas were a full in this community. Before COVID, we were getting 1,200, 1,300 people in Salatul Jumas. So we have already exceeded the capacity of this masjid. And as we increased in numbers, we have actually you know, increased operational pain as well. Uh, and we started building policies, started building the culture that we need to build and make sure that the, the new joiners to this community carries the same vision, carries the same feelings, just the root that we have in this community. Currently in Al Hidayah Center, we have Alhamdulillah three full time Imams. And it wouldn't be an exaggeration if we said that all of our Imams are truly gems and they are filling a very specific need we have in this community. From Sheikh Jafar's leadership to, mashallah, uh, Sheikh Yasin's, you know, uh, you know, unending energy. And Alhamdulillah, now we have Sheikh Hussam joining us and leading the Makra program and Quran programs. We have a gem and we have gems in this community. In our educational programs, we have a full-time educational coordinator. We have over 30 teachers teaching, teaching our kids. We have 17 teacher assistants. And the reason I'm giving you these numbers is so that you understand the, the, the scope and scale of the operation. So when we say that the current masjid operation is $650,000 a year, you know where the funds are being spent. We, we are currently looking for a full-time youth coordinator. And we have that position posted and we are looking to hire a youth coordinator so that we can have a dedicated person who is working on addressing the challenges that our youth is facing in, in these days. In all our educational programs, we have over 800 students. And more than that, we have about 200 students in the waiting list for various programs. So 
community is growing. You know, it is not the, you know, 100, 150 person community we had in, in Troy. And with that, of course, the cost is increasing and uh, we need support to continue extending the services, not only keeping them, but extending the services because you know, Alhamdulillah, our Imams are, again, full of energy and full of ideas to how to further benefit this community, how to address the challenges and what programs to start. And we are doing this in such a way that uh, we are trying to coordinate it and complement the services that exist in other institutions in capital district so that we are not contradicting, but we are complementing and we are amplifying each other's efforts so that we are a greater capital district Muslim community. In March, uh, COVID came. And with COVID, unfortunately, we had to make one of the hardest decisions that we made. We had to close down the masjid. And it was probably the hardest times when we were standing in front of the masjid and telling people that you cannot go in. At that time, it wasn't only closing the masjid that was challenging, but also how do we continue serving the 800 students we have in our various programs. So we had to move very quickly all our in-person programs to online platform. And that wasn't easy because we had to train the teachers. They had to understand the technology. Students needed to understand the technology. Curriculums needed to be reformatted and rechanged so that they are effective in the online platform. And that increased our cost further because now our staff is spending more time doing that transition. During the time of COVID, we started additional programs for helping the needy on the community. We started delivering groceries and medicine for those in needs. During Ramadan, we distributed food packages for everyone who is impacted by this. We have financial assistance programs and we you know, furthered that program to help those who are impacted by COVID lost their jobs, those who are unable to pay their rent, those who are unable to buy groceries. And on top of that, our imams were busy doing mental health support for those who are impacted by COVID. And those, are, those were not easy times for all of us and they still are not easy. While we were carrying that and the, the, the storm from COVID was calming down, we wanted to pick up the construction project. So we started the construction for the ex expansion of our masjid. And uh, as I said, the permit that we have received in 2006 was for all three phases. But then when we picked up the project again, since 2006, a lot of uh, laws and regulations had changed and we had to update the plans. And that added an additional delay because now we had to go back to the architect. The architect needed to update the plans according to the new code and then resubmit those plans to the town. And they take their time reviewing, approving those plans and then giving us the permit. Just about the time we were getting the uh, permit, there was an outbreak in the town of Colony for COVID-19. And they had to shut down. Hence, they, that added additional delay for the project. Our goal was to have a, a shell, a sealed shell, weather tight shell building by uh, end of January towards February, but it's probably looking like March or end of March right now because of the delays. Uh, and uh, our goal is to finish the second phase of the project, which is the school project, in two years, inshallah ta'ala, with your help. So uh, this is the this is the current site right now. We are building the foundation. We are building the foundation walls, and after that, still construction is going to start. And inshallah, it is going to have a snowball effect. Where after the steel construction and building the, the the concrete blocks, we are going to put the roof, and and then we'll be able to start working inside. Inshallah. So uh, one thing that I want to stress is. Whether you realize this or not, you realize this or not, capital district community is growing exponentially. Just look around you, look around the houses, look around your neighbors. When I moved in to the street that I am on in uh, 2017, I was the only Muslim in, in that uh, place. Now we have over 10 houses that are Muslim. So we are growing. 
And with that growth, you have to realize that in the capital district, we need more institutions. And Nur Sukul, ICCD, Masjid as -Salam, you know, and other messages are filling a very specific purpose. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them strength. And we do support them fully and wholeheartedly. But it would be a very short-sighted of us to say that we are only going to need one kindergarten. We are only going to need one elementary school, one middle school. We need to institutionalize. We need to build more schools, more mosques, more messages. We need more doctors, more nurseries, more pharmacies. We need to organize and institutionalize so that we can serve and we can address the challenges that our community is facing. Our youth are on a daily basis being challenged in public education system with our core values that are being shaken every day, every day. So we need your help to build additional institutions and additional services so that we can grow all together. This is your community. This is our community. And this community cannot be without you and without your help. We are all part of this big picture. And if one of us is holding back, then we are really holding back from the success of the greater vision, which is bringing greater services to capital district Muslims. Jazakum Allah khairan. When you are giving, please give generously. Please give generously. And share this information. Fundraising is starting. Please share this information with anyone and everyone you have in your contact list. That's the list you can do. And every bit helps. Jazakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair, brother Adnan. Um, before we continue, inshallah, on the program, I wanted to share with you all how exactly to donate. So obviously it's not a raising hand system as it used to be. Uh, as you can see in the top left of the screen here, um, there are a couple of ways to donate. So there's the link which will take you directly to the uh, Mesha donation in Mohid. Um, there is also Cash App and Venmo links here, which also are directed to these scan things right here. So all you have to do is open the app, scan it, and it should directly take you to the Masjid uh, donation spot, inshallah. And if you see on the bottom running along is the same link that I mentioned for the Masjid, as well as a phone number. So if you would like to pledge or pay online, but you know, uh, don't want to physically use that link yourself, call that number, please. Don't let uh, any reason stop you from donating, inshallah. Uh, additionally, it doesn't cost anything to share this. Okay, so please, please, you can share this link for the live stream itself with your contacts, as Brother Adnan mentioned. Uh, share it on your Facebook, wherever you can share it. Please share it so that uh, even if not everyone um, you know, knew about it, they can join now, inshallah, and they can partake in the ajr and in the reward, inshallah, if nothing else. Jazakumullah khair. Um, also, uh, as you know, we have, inshallah, with us um, two guest speakers that will join us, inshallah. We have Sheikh Ayman and Sheikh Hassan. Uh, Jazakumullah khair. Uh, so they will also be joining us soon, inshallah. Um, so we thank them for joining us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, next, inshallah, we will have uh, the question and answer session, as we mentioned, um, with uh, Dr. Khalid and Sheikh Yaseen, as well as Brother Adnan and uh, Sheikh Jafar, inshallah. So these questions are what people have been asking in relation to things that Brother Adnan just mentioned. So we will ask some questions. I'll ask, inshallah and uh, we'll get some more information in that aspect. Bismillah. So uh, the first question, the first question, inshallah, is for Dr. Khalid. Um, 
So as Brother Adnan just mentioned, the operational costs for the masjid in terms of education and everything else uh, is around $650,000, mashallah. Um, and we are adding on the school uh, in the near future, inshallah. Is this going to be uh, a burden on the community? Um, we'll have the school as an independent entity, but uh, in the present system of education and the way the fees are structured, it will be difficult to support that by fees alone. So we expect that uh, there will be fundraisings on a regular basis and you know, people will be asked to support the school as well. Uh, well um, as far as we can see right now, and this is subject to change because uh, as you go and embark on projects like this, there is constant re-evaluation. But uh, we, we, we want to support that by uh, number one. Number two, uh, we hope that they will will be able to create a um, some sort of a uh, independent uh, um, fund which will uh, be partly contributing to the system of education. Of that, we will need people to support the project as well. This is a standard operation anywhere we have Islamic school. Barakallah Jazakumullah khair. This next question, inshallah, is directed to uh, Sheikh Yaseen. Uh, so, as Brother Adnan has mentioned, many programs have continued during COVID. Um, one of them that has been uh, particularly um, more, more um, in the scene is an increased cooperation between our masajid and our uh, imams uh, in the wider community. So uh, can you speak a little to that uh, and describe how this effort is going, inshallah? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, this is of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, granted this community that there is, there is a, a great uh, cooperation and ta'awun between these masajid and our leaders and our imams for the best interest of our community. I just will mention, inshallah, a few of these projects that the community all together as masajid and imams and leaders are working together. Some of these projects are the cemetery. They are working to have, inshallah, cemetery that fulfill the need of the community. They are working on some youth project, inshallah ta'ala, to save and protect our youth. Some of these projects, inshallah, will be on public relation and outreach, uh, working with, with the local authorities, or, or again, for the best interest of our community. Of the of, of, of the project that they have been working on for a long time is interfaith with with different groups and 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 and, and institutions, and alhamdulillah of the of of, of the uh, one of the vision we have as masajid and imams and leaders working together is uh, we would like uh, masjid to to uh, fulfill a need. Uh, we would like some masajid maybe to be Allah successful in uh, serving the youth and other masajid maybe in Quran department, other masajid in maybe social services, other masajid maybe in 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 uh, program seminaries. So we would like because uh, the masjid uh, uh, by itself, uh, one masjid cannot fulfill all these needs and serve all this population. Alhamdulillah, our community is growing. Uh, uh, mashallah, may Allah put barakah in our community. So of the vision, brothers and sisters, that uh, uh, yes, there are things that all the masajid uh, have to offer, but there are certain things that every masjid can specialize in some areas and be the best at. So in this case, that alhamdulillah, the Muslim community will find their needs in different uh, institutions. This is part of the vision that imams and the leaders and the masajid have Please pray for us, continue to for us to achieve that, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakallah khair, Shaykh Yaseen. Um, this next question uh, is for Dr. Khalid. Um, so particularly during the pandemic, as Brother Adnan mentioned, um, you know, there were some, some services that were provided, social services by the masjid 
in terms of you know giving grocery and, and medicine for people and helping uh, our needy and our elderly. So um, can you shed some light on on that? And you know if there are any future services that the masjid is looking uh, to do in this regard. Uh, the masjid has a long history of uh, uh, running the um, soup kitchen project and uh, 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 providing food to uh, non-Muslims and Muslims also uh, in the in different situations. So that project has been going on for a number of years, number of years, and has been very successful. Um, this uh, recently, you know, because of the COVID, we embarked on this thing, and uh, I think these these projects tend to sort of uh, occur naturally as the uh, as the community grows, and the needs for the community are identified. Um, we uh, we expect that uh, new programs will develop, but right now the focus primarily on uh, uh, getting our communities close, working closely together and, and on then embark on uh, good programs for our youth uh, because uh, with every passing day, the scene need seems to be greater and greater. And uh, um, uh, so that will be very helpful. One of the th other situations that people may not be aware of, for the last several years, we've had a program for helping the youth with their homework from their uh, regular schools. So they come here and they, they, if they need help in math and physics or science or uh, English or whatever subjects, uh, they must, uh, we have people, uh, elder students, college students uh, that are helping these as well. So the number of programs and more programs so inshallah will be developed uh, based on the needs of the community inshallah. Jazakallah khair, Dr. Khalid. Um, this next question, inshallah, is, is directed at uh, Brother Adnan, but also Sheikh Yassin can jump in. Um, as, as Brother Adnan mentioned, the, the huge growth uh, of the community just in the last five, six years, and how, you know, alhamdulillah, um, that growth has actually expanded past what we what we anticipated in 2015, 2016. So um, with the growth in the whole community, our masjid and all the other masajid, um, what is Al Hidayah doing to prepare for this growth in terms of education, in terms of facilities? Uh, I, I will talk inshallah uh, on my side about education, brother Adnan maybe we'll cover later inshallah the, the issue of facility and, and the logistics. Uh, to be honest, uh, we are, at this point, we are not able to keep up with 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 the growth. Our our resources is limited, and it's it's uh, 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 it's it's, it's uh, less than the the demand and the need of the community. And as I said, our resources limited. I mean, teachers, qualified teachers, mentors who deal with the youth, counselors who address the youth issues. And, and 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 also social services and also facility uh, we are using our ministry are using school building that we have uh, across the street but uh, still uh, we needed more uh, facility or we need more facility to fulfill and to be able to hold our programs in the proper way. So basically, we are doing our best given the, 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 the circumstances we are in, but what we need right now, and this is why we need support from the community, we need to hire more teachers and imams and qualify uh, counselors in our community, which means human resources, brothers and sisters, we have to invest in people. We have to invest in people. Yes, Jazamullah Khair, our community is very generous when it comes to building masajid as, as buildings, as walls and bricks. And But we need to build the spirit of the, the masajid, human resources, people who will give life to these, to these institutions. And this is what we need to prepare right now. For the next few years, we have to invest in people. And also we have to train our current teachers. And we are, brothers and sisters, we are providing for them ilm programs and training in all aspects to deliver their possibility in, in the best in the best manner 
So what we are pre preparing right now is training our teachers, trying to get more teachers. To, we are right now just we posted uh, a, a, a new position, youth director, and we need the counselors, brothers and sisters for sisters and brothers. And also we need to hire more uh, ulama and scholars to serve in the community. So this is from from human resources perspective, and I'm sure in terms of the facility, it is another crisis we are facing to fulfill the needs of the community. Maybe Brother Adnan can address it later on, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakallah khair, uh, Sheikh Yassin. Uh, at this point, inshallah, we will um, remind you about the methods of donation. Again, maybe some people have joined that weren't here before. So you can donate from the link at the masjid uh, at Mohid, which is on the top left. Uh, and next to that as well is the Cash App and Venmo links um, that you can use, inshallah, to make it easier. And if you don't want to use those methods, right below, there should be a number that you can call, uh, that you can call, inshallah, and pledge or donate. Jazakumullah khairan. Uh, next, inshallah, we will have a short video, um, informational video, inshallah, about project uh uh, the school project, the phase two. Uh, so we'll play that, inshallah. My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I have a brief message to tell you. Many of us right now, we are enjoying this beautiful location, the Al Hidayah Center in Latham. And many of us, maybe we don't know the journey, where it started, how long it took, and where are we going? 40 years ago or more, this humble community started in this humble location. A humble location that is a two-story building that used to be a funeral home, then became a masjid. A small group, about 30, 35 people that used to perform salah and do regular activities, have a small school for children. But Alhamdulillah, by the dedication of that group and by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many years later, now we are enjoying this center, Al Hidayah Center, that is big enough for almost a thousand people in Jumu'ah prayer, big enough for almost 500 students who are coming to our Islamic studies, Quran memorization, and youth activities. After this, we have a vision, and that vision is Alhamdulillah, we already started a few weeks ago building the school, the full-time school that Al Hidayah community would like to have. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never commanded His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to ask to get more from anything except to get more knowledge, to increase him in knowledge when he said, وَقُرْ رَبِّ زِدْنِ ilma." Say, Ya Muhammad, O oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. In Al Hidayah Center Latum, our normal operation expenses are about $650,000. In the educational system, we have 800 students, and on top of that, we have additional 200 students in the waiting list of various programs that we are offering to our community. The worst position for me as the head of these programs, brothers and sisters, when I turn away students from this program and I tell them sorry we cannot accommodate you. During Ramadan we were not able to raise the funds that we significantly rely on to operate our masjid. We need more teachers, we need more uh, mentors, we need to hire youth director and also we need facility. Uh, our, our, our facility is limited, we cannot accommodate more than what we are, uh, it's beyond our capacity already. So your support, brothers and sisters, is crucial. Of the projects we are working on, brothers and sisters, is full-time Islamic school. And the main objective for this full-time Islamic school, brothers and sisters, is to create an atmosphere, space, home, where our kids can be the best in Islamic education as well as secular education. Overall, the construction project is costing about $3 million. We have raised over $2 million of that project already, but we need your help. We need your help to raise 
this year $500,000. That's going to help cover the operational expenses of the masjid and additionally cover some of the costs with the Sukul construction. We need Islamic school to promote not only Islamic values and Islamic characters and preserves identity. As a matter of fact, we want to create leaders. We want to create leaders who will not only preserve themselves, will preserve the next generations. My name is Ilhan. I'm currently a student in Young Seminar program. The reason why I joined this program is because I wanted to shape my life according to Islam and I want to help building my community. We can help them maintain their identity. We can help them connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, learn Quran, uh, preserve their Muslim personality, build their Islamic character and morals. The program is still effective and helped me and helped me to shape my life. There are about 30 students in our program, yet there are still people who want to join this class. With your help, we can expand our program. When we look at it, we have about 1,000 students in our community. If every one of you just pays $500 per student, if we can cover one student for $500, we will be able to raise $500,000 this year. As Al Hidayah Center, we are trying, we are uh, doing our best to establish such a school and we need your support and we need you to be part of it, brothers and sisters. Al Hidayah community has a vision to build institutions for the future generation. For the generations to come to have Islamic character, to have Islamic personality, and to have Islamic identity. We would like them to be leaders for the tomorrow. We would like them to be successful in their life, in all aspects of their life. That cannot be done without your participation. This is a work that is going to be remembered for many years to come. I would like you to be part of it. Jazakumullahu khayran wa barakallahu fikum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Respected brothers and sisters from the Albany Muslim community, I want first to say I am very humbled to be with you again this time. It is indeed an honor and pleasure to be among you. And subhanallah, I remember the other day when we were preparing for this meeting that it is going to be the first time I'm joining your community for this blessed event, raising fund to enhance and advance, mashallah, this full-fledged Islamic center in December, as usual. It is the first time, brothers and sisters, I'm coming to you without my heavy coat, takbir. This is the first time I'm joining you for Albany event without me needing to worry about a leather jacket or heavy coats or put some extra stuff on me uh, from the snow, snowy weather over there. But again, see, this is the good side of the impact of this pandemic on us. We will find ways to meet. We will find ways 
to move on. We will find ways to grow in a very healthy and fruitful manner, inshallah. May Allah reward the leaders of this masjid, the imams, the community, the volunteers, and the community that has a solid vision and understanding of really want to raise our family members and even ourselves to indulge in a very healthy, highly spiritual, clean Islamic environment. I cannot emphasize how important this is, but I know, and I don't want to spend too much time on it because I know you know it like me, and that's why you are dedicated. But I want to give you a khatira that came to my mind, actually because of, I just visited the city that I spent my first few months here in America. When I first came here, I graduated from here. And I came back to this city. I came here first time 31 years ago. Seems lots of years. But when you really look at it, it's just like yesterday. I came. I left. Too many people departed this life. Too many good people has gone. But the good news is, and this is for you and me to think about it. That one day, inshallah, and say inshallah ta'ala, that we all will get together. We all will be in one place, inshallah, in a very beautiful, peaceful, calm, good, not hot, not cold, perfect weather. Where do you think is this place that we all can meet at? You're from Albany, I am from Dallas. Our brothers and sisters, we will, inshallah ta'ala, one day meet together in Jannah. In the Jannah, inshallah, and soon it will come because it's just like a blink of the eye. 31 years ago, I just moved to United States of America. And it is just like a day or two. The days will pass by, we will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the lucky and the smart among us, those who invest in this time for that critical moment to please Allah to a way that when we meet Allah, He is happy with us. We will meet our beloved parents, our brothers and sisters, our uncles and aunts, those who left this dunya before us. We will meet our brothers and sisters whom we interacted with in this dunya. We came to know and we loved them only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The day that will come that we will meet with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and all the prophets and you will get to see Nuh السلام, and Ibrahim Abu Al-Anbiya You will get to see Musa السلام, and Isa السلام. You will get to see all these beloved messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will get to see Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu arda siddiq And you will get to see the tall and strong and tough man Umar radiallahu anhu arda Sayyidina Umar. You will get to see Uthman and Ali and the Sahaba. And you will hear very beautiful voice. And you will ask, what is that voice? And you will uh, know that it is a Bilal. Then you will hear a very beautiful voice singing around you. Amazing voice. And they will tell you, this is Dawood السلام. The day will come, inshallah ta'ala, that we all will gather in this very beautiful described to us Jannah that you will see the rivers, the springs, the sofas that are very comfortable, the types of the fruits that will come to you. You don't have to go anywhere. They will pass by and come to you and you will pick whatever you like. You will drink whatever you like. Halal drinks. But the most important is not this and I will conclude with that. After we have this full enjoyment and happiness, we will hear, we'll hear the voice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, my servants, anything else? 
And then the servants of Allah will ask, Oh Allah, you have saved us. You have saved our faces, whitened our faces. You have saved us from the hell. What else can we wish? If we are, insha'Allah, insha we will be among the lucky ones. Then Allah will enable us to see him directly. And there is no such thing more enjoyable, make you happier, make you more content than seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that moment. Nothing else is better than seeing Allah. Allahumma matta'na bin nadari ila wajhika al -kareem. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the happiness and enjoyment of seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah. Allahumma ameen. With this in mind, that needs our preparation. The challenge and the test in this is in this short period of time in this dunya, not in the hereafter. And that's why we need to act in a very united way, very supportive way to your center, insha'Allah. It's the masjid. It is the school. It is the Quran. It is the legacy. It is the investment that you want to be proud of. It's the mountains of hasanat that you want to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preparing these and growing these for you. Can you imagine where in the world you will see a business or a plan or a wealth manager or any type of investment or stock will keep your investment until the day of judgment growing and it goes into your credit. It's only with the most generous. It is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to start this blessed night telling you, mashallah, may Allah reward the brothers and the admin started putting the donations for the big donors. May Allah reward them and accept from them. I hope they will post them again as we go. I want to give this chance for a Kareem to come forward and say, I want to break the ice of this blessed gathering and this online event with a $25,000 that goes toward this blessed project. The masjid, the school, the Quran, the support of the operations, the imams, just being in a healthy environment by Allah. It means a lot. Wallahi, you don't need me to tell you too much. I got scared, actually. I came to know about a community that they recently built a graveyard. When I meant recently, a few years ago. The surprising news is that the vast majority of the people buried in that Islamic graveyard are young people less than 50 years of, uh, of age. Many of them are young people. Unfortunately, the, the, the drugs uh, business has spread among them and killed many of their youngsters. And they don't know, they scramble around, they don't know what to do. While Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us right from the very beginning of the Quran, Alif, La, Mim, Dalik al kitabu la rayba fi. We recite it, we ask Allah for it in every single rak'ah that we make in the prayer. The Quran, the Salah, being with Allah is the way out of this. We need to come back to Allah, save our community, protect our kids. And that happens when we are focused and invest with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hope one Kareem will come forward, will give you one minute. If a generous donor can come forward and inform the admins, inform Imam, uh, the, the Imams, inform uh, Brother Adnan, anybody about $25,000 donation that you will make it towards this project for this blessed gathering and tonight's event. Any Kareem will come forward will be great. If not, it is good to uh, recognize and mention, MashaAllah, may Allah reward him, Brother Bashaz Mustafa is donating $10,000, takbir, may Allah reward you, accept from you, protect you and your family members, and make them qurratu ayn lak, Allahumma ameen. Also, Sister Lamia Saqqal, MashaAllah Ta'ala, $10,000, may Allah reward her and accept from her, takbir, may Allah put the barakah in her sadaqah, protect her and her family members in their health and in their wealth, and give them qurratu ayn, Allahumma ameen. 
MashaAllah, I, I see Shagufa Faruqi is given also a $5,000. Takbir. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And I see Brother Lahlali Banshaita. I'm sorry if I am uh, misspelling or mispronouncing the names. Lahlai Bin Chaita, MashaAllah, $5,000. Takbir. May Allah reward you. Accept from you. Protect you in health and wealth. Both of you, the last two donors as well. May Allah protect you and protect your investment, protect you in your health and in your wealth. We still hope to see a Kareem that will come forward, text one of the admins, one of the board members, Brother Adnan, one of the Imams that you are given a $25,000. And if not, come forward with a $10,000. Wallahi, it is good to know uh, the secret recipe for happiness sometimes uh, MashaAllah, I see Mustafa Talib given $1,000. Takbir, may Allah reward you, accept from you. Protect you in your health and wealth. A secret recipe, why some generous donors, especially those who give big amounts of money, so many times in these events before Corona comes, when I used to see them personally face to face and I try to tell them, I assure you, Allah will substitute for you. So many of them give me almost the same exact answer. You don't have to tell me, brother. I see it all the time. It happens to me all the time. Even today, I, I was in, in an early meeting with another generous donor who told me, I really see it all the time. In one way or another. And sometimes he donates even when, when he doesn't have a real good business going on, but he still donates and he sees the results. When you see them smiling, you know what's the secret. You don't see a donor, a generous donor who is a sincere donor, but always uh, saying, Alhamdulillah. Why they always uh, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why they are always smiling? Why they are always giving more and more? May Allah reward them, accept from them, mashallah. Muhammad Kurdi, brother Tur Kurdi, I take your lead, brother, mashallah. So get double thawab. Another $1,000 from Muhammad Al-Kurdi. Takbir. May Allah reward you, accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah. Allahumma ameen. MashaAllah. Muhammad Ahmed, $1,000. Takbir. MashaAllah. May Allah reward you, accept from you. We need to see still the big numbers. I know Albany. Probably I don't see you because we are online. But you know that I know that you are generous community. And you are supportive community. I know you had a recent event as well. But guess what? Allah blessed us before. Allah blessed us before Corona. And subhanAllah, we emerged 10 months later. We survived. MashaAllah, Ja'far, Mutha, Vaba, MashaAllah, and Najma, Mutha, Vuba, MashaAllah, $2,000. Takbir, MashaAllah. I'm assuming Ja'far and Najma both are given $2,000, right? Takbir, MashaAllah. May Allah reward you, accept from you. I see it all the time, brothers. And uh, what I was saying is that we emerged, alhamdulillah, 10 months later. We are still alive. We are still existing. Many of us still, alhamdulillah, have their jobs. We still, alhamdulillah, able to manage it. We, all what we need is just to stick to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, stick to the Quran, stick to the masajid, be around, be in the right group, among the right environment, and Allah will help us. MashaAllah. Rawda. Hassan, Hussein, Khadija, and Ferdous. Each one of them is $1,000. Takbir, mashallah. May Allah reward you, accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah. Allahumma ameen. I hope some of the big kareems, the big donors will come forward and say, I want to encourage others and give a $25,000, $12,000, mashallah, $10,000. Mashallah, brother, mashallah, the president of the masjid, Adnan Baikal, mashallah. $1,000, takbir, mashallah. May Allah reward you. Accept from you. Lead them by example. This is the way to go. May Allah accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah. You see it when you give. You see it in peace of mind. You see it with your family members. You see it with the success that Allah make it easy in your way. You see it when Allah protect you from bad endings and bad accidents. You see it when other people hit with diseases and you are protected and immune. This is the benefits on some of the immediate fruits of the sadaqah. MashaAllah. Isa Al-Thani, 
on behalf of all children of Hidayah Center, Maryam and Fatma would like to donate $2,000. Takbir, mashallah. May Allah bless you, bless your community, bless your family members, and in health and wealth. Allahumma ameen. Wallahi, ya brothers, I want to tell you, be with Allah and Allah will be with you. Ihfadillaha yahfadk. Ihfadillaha tajidhu tujahak. MashaAllah. Yasmin Khan, $2,000. Takbir. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. By the way, we have a Yasmin Khan in Dallas who gives a $50,000. If you want to be like that, Yasmin Khan, if you are able to make it, make it happen. If not, make dua. And guess what? If your $2,000 is the, all what you can do, you know that way more than a $50,000. If this is all what you can do, or the best that you can do. Rubba dinar, sabaka, alfa dinar. So you never know where is the heaviest reward comes. But the common factor, we all need to sacrifice. We all need to give. We all need to challenge our desire to the wealth and accumulation and money and building and investment and wealth and here and there and what if and what if. Subhanallah. Brother Barpaz Akhtar, $3,000. Takbir. MashaAllah. May Allah reward you. Accept from you. Just remember, four years ago, four years ago, I noticed some Muslim brothers started holding back. You probably know the reason. January 2017. Some people right after the Muslim ban decision started holding back, thinking crazy things will happen and we don't know what's going on. And we need to start saving money and get out of here. Four years later, the doors are open again. And Allah is telling you, be with me, I will be with you. Ya ibn Adam, anfiq, unfiq alayk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us in the hadith Qudusi, O oh, son of Adam, spend in my, in my sake. I will spend on you. Give, I will give you. The more you give, the more Allah will give you, protect you, be with you, and give you success in this dunya and in the hereafter. Anybody who wants evil for you, he's challenging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know who will be the victorious. MashaAllah, we saw $5,000. I was unable to catch the name. Yasmin Khan just prayed for me. May Allah be with you, inshaAllah ta'ala. Oh, MashaAllah. This is a comment that came on it. Allahu Akbar. This is by itself. It's, it's a very, very, very good response. Sister Yasmin Khan from Albany, when I told her about the Yasmin Khan of Dallas, who gave $50,000, she said one day, she will make it. Well, inshallah ta'ala, you will do it. Inshallah ta'ala, keep this sincere wish in your heart and work for it. And inshallah, one day, if Allah gives us life, one day you will stand up and remind me that you raise your hand. Maybe Corona will be over and we will be able to see each other again. And you will see me with my leather jacket coming to Albany. You will stand up and say, you remember me. I promise to give a $50,000 and here you go. Allah bless me and I will make it inshallah. Inshallah, one day you will make it. But guess what? You will get the reward with your intention. As long as a serious, sincere intention, you will get the reward for it inshallah. And I am Chaudhary, $1,000. Takbir, may Allah reward you. Accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah. Allahumma ameen. We need to see more Kareems who will come forward and give, inshallah. By the way, Sister Yasmin just gave us an example here. You don't have to be a millionaire, by the way, first to give a $50,000. Probably so, so many times. That's all what you have and all what you give. You give it all, just like Abu Bakr, a Siddiq, he used to give anything and everything. And he was coming to Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, telling him, it is Lillahi Azza wa Jal. So if you make it sincere, fi sabirillah, you will never go wrong. Allah promised to give you support and victory and establish for you in the earth. I was talking about the fear and anxiety that hit the hearts of many Muslims in America four years ago. And subhanallah, if you do remember, the key solution to kick anxiety and fearless 
and, and, and the sadness out of the heart of the believers is by what? Amazingly, by the sadaqa, by giving, by sacrificing from the wealth that we love a lot. Who among us doesn't love the dollars? We all. It is our nature. Allah created us with the love of accumulation, the wealth, the good springs and heavens and, and, and gardens around us and good mansions and cars and all of that. But subhanAllah, Allah tests us with the thing that we love to test our iman. Saddam, Abis, mashaAllah, $2,000. May Allah reward you accept from, from Saddam and Aisha Murshid. Saddam, Abis, and Aisha Murshid. May Allah accept from you, reward you, protect you in health and wealth. Allah ma'ameen. We need to see more Kareems. By the way, it is an investment that you will see later. When you see your kids grow up on the straight path, going to the masjid, staying away from the haram, staying away from the devilish paths, here and there, and it is too many, by the way. You will thank Allah, but you know that you made an investment before they grow up. You made the sacrifice before you see them now on their own with the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people get amazed how that happened. Do not get too much surprised. Their parents invested in the sake of Allah. Masjid As-Salam, mashallah, is supporting their neighbor. Masjid, mashallah, $3,000. Takbir, may Allah reward you, accept from you, protect you. And health and wealth. And where is the evidence for what I said, brothers and sisters? You see good things happen with your offsprings. And Allah tells us and teaches us in Surah Al-Kahf when the good man revealed to a prophet, a prophet Musa alayhi salam وَكَانَ أَبُوهُمَا صَالِحًا فَأَرَادَ رَبُّكَ أَنْ يَبْلُغَا أَشُدَّهُمَا وَيَسْتَخْرِجَا كَنْزَهُمَا رَحْمَةً مِنْ رَبِّكَ By the mercy of Allah Allah protect, protected the wealth of the two orphans under a, under a protection and security until they grow up and get their wealth out. Why? Because their parents were good. Their father was good. Allah took care of them and protected their wealth later on. You want Allah to protect your own offsprings, your own kids and of grandsons and granddaughters. The way to do it is invest with Allah. Sacrifice. And challenge yourself, Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Shaykhna Masha Allah, Allah Akbar. There is an anonymous donor giving twenty-five thousand dollar on behalf of all the elderly and needy in our community. Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. He wanted to stay anonymous, but you know that Allah will mention him in a better presence in front of the angels. In the heavens, Allah will mention his name or her name, inshallah. The Kareem or Karima given $25,000. And I see Sarfar's Nina given $1,000. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. May Allah reward you. Accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah. Allahumma ameen. Can we see another Kareem who will come forward for a $25,000? I hope another Kareem, if you want to stay anonymous, that's fine. If you want to uh, rec uh, want us to recognize your name, and that way also you can encourage others to give. Because they know if another Kareem from the community sacrificed, maybe it is not the right time to be that giving and that much, and yet you managed. You controlled the, the impact of the pandemic on yourself. And we're able to sacrifice and give. You will encourage others to come forward. Put their trust in their creator, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by the way, you can scan any of these barcodes. Easy, cheesy way to donate. No excuses. You don't have to write anything. All what you need is put your phone camera in one of these three barcodes in the upper right corner of the screen, the way I see it. Uh, just put to any one of them and go ahead and donate, inshallah, generously. But more important, let us know. So you will encourage others to come forward and give fee sabilillah. And by the way, 
I tested all these three links and they all work. No excuses. Shaitan will try to find you one or another excuse. Not to give. Ash-shaytan ya'idukum al-faqr. Subhanallah. Ash-shaytan want you to be poor, live poor, and the most dangerous is not like that. Sometimes you are rich. You have more than $5,000 in your bank. And some of us have more than $10,000 in the bank. And yet, and you can donate, and you can give them, and you can give them to the masjid. And yet, a shaitan comes and whispers in one way or another to tell you what if this crazy guy made the Muslim ban? What if this guy make this? What if Corona extended another eight months or six months? God forbid. Although uh, the, the, the recovery seems to be slow and coming back, but at least we are very hopeful that we will emerge stronger, inshallah. Sister Aqila Afzal, $1,500. Takbir. May Allah reward her and accept from her. This is my fuel to continue, inshallah ta'ala, and continue to be energetic with you. I will be more energetic and more motivated if I see some of you come forward and give another twenty-five or another $10,000. May Allah reward Aqila Afzal. Protect her in health and wealth. Barvaz, mashallah, we mentioned Barvaz Akhtar, $3,000. We need to see more Kareems and Kareemas who want to deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, the dollar that you give, the $1,000, the $2,000, the $5,000, the $10,000, Allah knows about it. Allah makes it easy for you. Allah guide your heart to give. And that's how lucky you are, how fortunate you are. That you should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he, number one, enabled you to log in and attend the event. Number two, you have the wealth and you have the money and you have the $5,000 or $10,000 that you can manage to sacrifice and give it fi sabilillah for the house of Allah, for the Islamic school, for the Quran, for the teachings, for the good and healthy environment. You want your kids and family members to be in a peaceful and healthy environment. Here you go. You make the investment now with Allah and leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, in any way, for any segment of this project that you want to donate, remember the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa That when we pass away, when son of Adam dies, his deeds counters stop the hasanat counters stop except from three major categories sadaqatun jariya continuous charity ilmun yuntafa'u bihi a knowledge that will benefit other just imagine if imam jafar or imam yasin and the third imam may allah reward them and accept from him i'm sorry I'm, i forgot his name teach us one ayah a day or recite one ayah in front of us or teach you a hadith once once every uh, every now and then that will continue to be ilmun yuntafa'u bihi you are investing to make this reality and happening your investment will be counted heavily in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take advantage support the houses of allah be like prophet muhammad sallam who first thing did after he united the hearts of the Muslims, Muhajirin and Ansar, when he moved to, Mag to Medina, he established the house of Allah. MashaAllah, I'm sorry, the third Imam name is Sheikh Hussam. So MashaAllah, we have Sheikh Yasin, Sheikh Ja'far, uh, their leader is MashaAllah, Sheikh Ja'far, Sheikh Yasin, and Sheikh Hussam. May Allah accept from them. Just imagine, one of them recite the Quran, the other lead the prayer, the other one give you the hadith. This is a continuous sadaqah, this is a knowledge that will benefit you. And then a boy or a girl will benefit from it. And 80 years later, or 100 years later, making dua for all those who invested in his upbringing in the right path. You will get the advantage of these duas and these hasanat continuously, inshallah. This is how generous Allah is with the generous people, with the donors, with those who sacrifice and give 
And mashallah, Farhad Muhammad given $500 and another $500 from Ilhan Isr, mashallah ta'ala. May Allah reward you, accept from you. Takbir. Can we see more $5,000? Can we see more $2,500 come forward? More $1,000? This is the time. Please come forward. We don't have much time. We really need your help and support. Make it happen, inshallah ta'ala. We need to see you there, inshallah ta'ala. Do we have another Kareem who will make it happen? Come forward for a $5,000. Come forward for, mashallah, Ashraf Malik, brother of Ashraf Malik and Farhad Muhammad. $700 from Ashraf Malik. Farhad Muhammad, $500. Brother Farhad Muhammad, why don't you match your brother Ashraf Malik since both of you are on the same banner? Why don't you match him? Make it happen. Allah bless you. You can make it. You can be like brother Ashraf Malik. You can do $700. I hope you will uh, think again and make it happen. And actually each one of us, by the way, always, always we think of, think of upgrade. We need to upgrade and enhance. If we have something, we need something the better. We have the, the newer version. We, we need this and that. And subhanallah, we need to think about our hereafter. Don't we need a higher rank in Jannah? Don't we be, need to be closer to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And the Anbiya, Don't we need to reduce many of our sayyat to be dumped, to be wiped out, to be taken away? How can we get that? One of the ways is with your sadaqah. Uh, MashaAllah, brother Tariq. Who's Tariq? We have too many Tariqs. I know a Tariq in Dallas who gives a $25,000. And then I see Tariq in Albany giving $2,500. Takbir, MashaAllah. May Allah reward you, accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah and enable you to multiply that many more and many times as we go, inshaAllah. Say Ameen. May Allah protect brother Tariq in his health and wealth. Brother Farhad, brother Ibrahim and all the brothers. Protect you in your health and in wealth and save you and your family members. Allahumma ameen. Can we see few more with a $5,000, $2,500, some more of $1,000? The time is ticking now. The clock is ticking and we need to go down. I understand, but I was hoping Albany community more will come forward with a $20,000, $10,000, $15,000. At least one more Kareem to come forward, even if you want to stay anonymous and give $25,000. I hope one, one of you will make it happen, inshallah. Are you there? One Kareem to make it happen. I will tell you a story, wallahi subhanallah. One day, this is to let you know the impact of doing a good deed by encouraging others. One Kareem, he was coordinating the event of a masjid event. He is fine with donating any amount. He wants just to encourage others. He collected four brothers, told them give a $20,000 each, and he will give a $20,000. And when I asked him, I said, MashaAllah, since you are spending too much on the masjid, why don't you go and approach them to give a $50,000? You're giving it anyway. SubhanAllah, a few words. He goes and he approached all of them, and he ended up... Elevating his donation from 20,000 to 50,000. Guess what happened? He ended up himself giving 80,000, and each one of the four donors who were go going to give a $20,000 ended up giving $50,000 each. See the encouragement, the brotherhood and sisterhood, the impact of this good environment. Get you faster to Jannah and drop off too many sayyat, inshallah, in our way with this challenge with this test to go through it successfully, inshallah. Abayda, mashallah, afzal. Abayda afzal and Amina afzal. $400, takbir. May Allah reward you, accept from you, protect you in health and wealth. Allahumma ameen. Can we see more Kareems? $1,000, $500, come forward. We need your donations. Time is running quickly. Mashallah, mashallah. Kishwar. Ahmed, $1,000 on behalf of my parents. Kishwar Ahmed, on behalf of the parents. MashaAllah, and the late Shamshad Ahmed. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. From Huma Ahmed, Takbir, MashaAllah, $1,000. May Allah accept from you, reward you, protect your health and wealth. 
and save save them inshallah ta'ala and protect you all allahumma amin this is a, a good sign of son or a daughter taking care of their own parents and give on behalf of deceased ones may allah reward you for that and enable you to continue to give more continuous charities and make it heavier in your scale allahumma amin give you the peace of mind and freedom from anxiety and sadness and inshallah ta'ala be saved from all diseases and especially corona allahumma amin allahumma amin can we see some kareems mashallah he wants to stay anonymous i'm not going to mention his name $2,500 takbir mashallah there is a, a on the chat here a, a anonymous brother given $2,500 Humaira Sajid, $1,000. May Allah accept from you, reward you, and mention you in his presence. Allahumma ameen. Protect you in health and wealth. Allahumma ameen. And save you all from the all negative impact of the disease that is taking place. May Allah ease the hardship on all Muslims and save us all from the corona and protect the Muslims and save us all and enable us to do more hasanat. MashaAllah. Azmat. Ahmed, mashallah, Ismat Ahmed, $3,000, takbir, mashallah, may Allah reward you, accept from you, protect you in health and wealth, Allah ma'ameen. Don't forget to go to the upper left corner, that, from what I see on the screen, to one of these barcodes to donate immediately. You can just uh, pin your camera towards them and you, inshallah ta'ala, you will pick up one of the barcodes and be able to donate generously but more important let us know so you will encourage others to give those who spend their wealth daily in the daytime and in the night time secretly and publicly publicly and secretly what is the reward they will get the reward from allah they shall not be sad. They shall not be afraid from anything, inshallah. They will be free from anxiety. No fear, inshallah, in their heart. I would like to donate another $100 in the name of my children. MashaAllah, Abdul Rahman and Abdul Rahim and Zulaikha. MashaAllah, may Allah reward you, accept from you, protect you in health and wealth. Allahumma ameen. You, we, we should also get the name, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah put the barakah in your sadaqah. Wallahi. The more money you put and you give and you invest as a sadaqah for your own kids or your own parents, you will see it. You will see it and you will enjoy it, inshallah, in this dunya and for sure in the hereafter. Most important, we purify our intention. We make it solely fi sabilillah. We make it because we want to please Allah. We make it because we want to get to that moment of seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The real joy is when we see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Hail Ahmed is given $2,500. Takbir. MashaAllah. May Allah reward you, accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah. Allahumma ameen. Ameen. MashaAllah. Can we see another Kareem? Come forward with the $1,000. I hope Sheikh Adnan and the other rest of the board and the imams will come forward. Some people will text them. And they will pass on the good news to us and tell us who is donating what. This is your time, by the way. Shaitan does not want you to give peace of Allah. Subhanallah. Can you imagine where did Allah mention this ayah in particular? This ayah comes in the middle of five pages towards the end of Surah Al-Baqarah that all talks about sadaqah. All talks about the importance of donation, the reward of donation the assurance of that allah will take care of you give you multiply for you give you substitution and reward you too many and yet in the middle the shaitan pops up shaitan want you to live and act like a poor person and even commit sins on the other side in the side of safety and security and peace and tranquility and joy and happiness, Allah wants to forgive you and give you more. Whom do you listen to? Wallahu Allah says, 
Allah gives wisdom to whomever he wants. Wallahi, so many people get to know same knowledge, read same books, go through Syria, say, same experiences. But some people will pick the lesson, learn the wisdom, and act in the positive way and positive direction. And some people don't. And this is a blessing and a gift from Allah. Donate, be smart, deal with Allah in the positive way, respond positively. Naz, Ladgan, giving, mashallah, $3,000 for her late father, Shamsuddin Yargati. May Allah be merciful with him, accept him, protect him, and make his grave a piece of Jannah. I'm part of garden. Allahumma ameen, ameen. Jazakallah khair. Sister Naz, may Allah reward you, protect you, and give you peace, peace of mind and tranquility. Allahumma ameen, ameen. Jazakallah khairan. MashaAllah, may Allah reward you. We need to give on behalf of our parents, on behalf of our uh, fathers and mothers. Wallahi, they invested their life and they sacrificed a lot, went through a lot of challenges. Brothers and sisters, because Sister Naz just mentioned this, talking about the sacrifice, I am, as you can tell in the in the camera, if you see me wearing a shirt, and that just reminded me with something, where the sister said that she is donating on behalf of her father. When I came to America, and I immediately joined the school, but at the same time started working, and I called my father and told him, my father, I started working now, and if you want, I can send you some money now. Although I need the money for the tuition. The tuition was far much more than what I make when I first came. The response came from my father, although he did not have much money, by the way. He did not have much money. Actually, he had to borrow some money to make it happen for me to get to the ticket and be able to pay for the first semester only. The first semester in the school only. And the ticket that I came to America, he borrowed that money. And when I had the opportunity to make some money and I want to send it to him, he said, my son, we sent you to America to gain your education and elevate your position in this dunya and have a financial stability, not to send money back to us. I will sell my shirt. And that's what my father told me. He will sell his shirt to teach me. Save your money, finish your education. These are the parents who sacrifice anything and everything for us. Can we give a thousand dollars on behalf of our parents? Can any Kareem who know or she knows that your father and mother sacrificed a lot, worked hard and spent on you to see you in a better position than themselves in this dunya and now they're gone and you are here and it is your opportunity to send a gift for them by supporting your masjid, your Quranic Academy, your school, supporting all the educational programs, the healthy and clean environment in your Muslim community. Give a thousand dollars, a continuous sadaqa charity, sadaqa jariya, on behalf of your late father or mother. Give it fi sabilillah as a gift on, on their behalf. MashaAllah. Fakhruddin Muhammad, $100. Sayyid Ahmed, $100. MashaAllah. Sajid Chaudhary, asking for dua for family. May Allah accept from you, protect you all, Sajid Chaudhary, and a family, and protect them, and make them qurratu aynin lak. Allahumma ameen, ameen. Let's see if some Kareems will come forward, give a donation on behalf of parents, or really, for the family. May Allah protect them all. MashaAllah. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh Adnan. There is a reason why I love you, right? May Allah reward you. May Allah protect you. And put the barakah in your sadaqah. Allahumma ameen, ameen. Adnan Baikal is giving $1,000 for my father and father-in-law. May Allah reward you, accept from you, and save them, protect them, 
and make this sadaqah reach to them insha'Allah ta'ala in a very heavy manner and make your scale go heavier and heavier as we go jazakallah khair barakallahu feek mashaAllah you are leading by example I love you fi sabirillah for the sake of Allah we need to see more people to come mashaAllah barvez akhtar on behalf of parents jazakallah khair may Allah reward you brother barvez akhtar one thousand dollar on behalf of their, his parents, Parviz Akhtar, may Allah accept from you, protect you, and accept this sadaqah heavily in the scale of your parents and in your scale. Allahumma ameen, ameen. We need more Kareems to come and give a gift for your parents as well, inshallah ta'ala. Make it happen, inshallah ta'ala. Give fi sabilillah. Whatever you invest with Allah, you will see it. وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ يَعْلَمُهُ اللَّهِ وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِدُوهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ Whatever good thing that you do and present, you will see it in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. هَا أَنْتُمْ هَا أُولَائِي تُدْعَوْنَ لِتُنْفِقُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Allah is presenting this gift for you, declaring, giving you an announcement. Give and present a donation for yourself from Mehdi, Asil, and Bushra Benantar, mashallah, $1,000. May Allah accept from you, protect you, save you in health and in wealth. Allahumma ameen, ameen. Mashallah, we need to see more Kareems. Can we see 10 more Kareems to give $1,000? Mashallah, mashallah. Another Imam, Sheikh Yasin Bujima, $500, leading by example. May Allah reward you, accept from you. I love you for Fisa Bilillah. You pervades Adnan, you respond positively to my call. I love you, Fisa Bilillah. May Allah make us among Al Mutahabuna, Fi Jalali in the Day of Judgment. The hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallam that talks about certain people that even Anbiya, Sahaba, everybody will be looking at them in the Day of Judgment. Their faces are full of light. And they were wondering who are these people and they will be answered these who love each other fi sabirillah they are not relatives no business partners no nothing for this dunya only fi sabirillah they will be with full of light and nur in the day of judgment may allah make us all among them allahumma ameen ameen let us all fix and correct the the concept of love and make it pure fi sabirillah. Make anything and everything that we like, we love, we desire purely fi sabirillah to please Allah. Once we do that, we are on the straight path. Once we do that, we will see the easiness of hardships. Once we, we do that, we see the peace of mind in our hearts. Once we do that, we live the happiness, inshallah. Once you do anything and everything, only to please Allah. Then you will see that, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah make us among them, inshallah. Can we see more Kareems and Kareemas? In the coming two seconds, I'll take a sip of coffee. So I will stay, stay uh, energetic with you. But we need to see more hands to come forward. It's a matter of a few clicks on your phone. And you are donating. And shaitan wants to block you. MashaAllah. MashaAllah, $5,000 from Riaz, Naz, Azzam, Lai, Lakdan, MashaAllah. We already mentioned it. Oh, for all diseasing during, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Somebody is giving and dedicating $5,000 $5, donation. $5,000 from Riaz, Naz, Azzam, and Zahi, Lakdan, MashaAllah. For all those who died with the, with the COVID-19. May Allah accept them as shuhada. And extend this gift to get to each one of them and be heavy in their scale and to be heavy in your scale and protect you all from COVID-19, even COVID-20 or whatever diseases or hardships that come. May Allah protect us all. And by the way, a sadaqa is immunity. Sadaqa is a protection. A sadaqa to taqi masari asu has been mentioned uh, uh, and some narrated as a hadith and some not. But however, taqi masari asu Save, saves you from in the, in the bad, bad endings and hardships and accidents and tough endings. Sadaqah can save you a lot. And that's why we need to give. Sadaqah in the day of judgment 
when there is no shade but the shade of Allah and the sun is just one mile away, you will be under the shade of your own sadaqah. Build it from now. This is the time that you can do it. It will be too late after we depart this life. Take advantage and make something happen. Can we see 10 Kareems to come forward? $1,000, whether on behalf of your parents or for your own kids' protection. MashaAllah. Salima Sibkawi, MashaAllah. On behalf of Salima Sibkawi, MashaAllah, $1,000. Rahmatullahi alayha. May Allah uh, be merciful with her, accept her, and grant her the benefit of this sadaqah. Allahumma ameen. Takbir. Jazakallah khair. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah reward you. Nine more Kareems to come for $1,000. Nine more. We need the Imams and the board members. Brother Adnan, text your friends to make it happen. I think you can make it happen, inshallah. Nine more Kareems to say, I will give $1,000. Sattar Muhammad will give one to make another $100, mashallah, for my mother. And father, mashallah, they both passed away. My father is Hajji, mashallah, Hajji Rozi. May Allah accept from him. Wallahi, inshallah ta'ala. This will be a heavy donation, inshallah. Hundred dollar on behalf of, of your parents. Inshallah, it will reach them and will be heavy, inshallah. May Allah be merciful with them and enable you to continue to do a birr and goodness and gift to them. Allahumma ameen. Jazakum Allah khair and protect you in health and wealth. We need to see nine more Kareems nine more the imam i still have like 10 minutes left we need to see nine more kareems to give a thousand dollar and we need 10 more to give a 500 actually find nine more after mashallah sayyid rahmatullahi sayyid 500 dollar mashallah may allah reward you and accept from you or the brother's name is rahmatullahi sayyid 500 dollar may allah accept from you mashallah kareem tira abdul kareem and karima tira MashaAllah, Kareem and Kareema, MashaAllah, generous and generous, huh? MashaAllah, $1,000, Takbir, MashaAllah. We got two of the $1,000, we need eight to go, inshallah. We need eight $1,000, inshallah, to go. Zahid Nazir, on behalf of parents, may Allah reward you, accept from you, reward, protect you in health and wealth, given $500, Takbir, MashaAllah, we have eight thousand dollar left we need donations one thousand dollar each mashallah layaqat ashik of course all of our parents sacrificed a lot for us just as we are sacrificing for our children one thousand dollar for my late father muhammad ashik and my late mother shamim akhtar mashallah takbir mashallah takbir wallahi they both sacrifice may allah reward you brother jazakallah khair Accept from you, pledge from Arsalan Ghori and Aisha Arshad on behalf of our parents. MashaAllah, may Allah reward you. Accept from you. I will consider them four and five. Wallahi, ya brothers, our parents sacrificed a lot for us. We know it, you know it. Whether they were able to get us the milk and the water and the drink and the food, or even during our lives, during our education time. We know it, that they sacrificed a lot for us. And we know that we are, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, we, what we are now, dedicated Muslims, inshallah ta'ala, although we may make mistakes, but we are dedicated. We are getting to the masajid. We are, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, what we are because of their investment with us. We should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I gave you the example of my father, and I still have nine minutes to go. And I want to finish with this, but inshallah, let you know, mothers also sacrifice and they also deserve our attention and gift. Mashallah, Mubashir Naeem, $500 on behalf of parents. Takbir, mashallah, may Allah reward you. We're left with five people to give a 5,000 and seven people to give another $500, inshallah ta'ala. We are almost there. We have nine minutes to go. We need to make it happen, inshallah. Wallahi, I want to give you an example. My mother used not to work. My mother herself was an orphan and did have never had a job. And yet, whatever gifts she used to get here and there, $20 from here, $5 from here, $10 from here, 
She used to save each and every penny and dollar. When my marriage time came, the largest gift I ever got for my marriage was from my own mother. I had a lot of beloved people. Hundreds attended the wedding. Something to remember 25 years later. The largest gift came from my mom who never worked for a penny, but she saved whatever gifts throughout years came to her in a small pillow. She hided it in her closet until the moment of my wedding date to present me with the largest gift of my wedding. Your mothers also deserve attention. MashaAllah, Muhammad Ismail, $1,000 for my parents. May Allah reward you, accept from you, protect you in health and wealth. Say, Allahumma ameen. Allahumma ameen. Sure, five minutes, yes. MashaAllah, we are left with four people to come, inshaAllah ta'ala. Four people to come, inshaAllah ta'ala. For a $1,000 or and seven people for a $500. We are running with seven minutes with my time limit, and inshallah, we will make it. If you are listening, you can text others, let them know this is a perfect time to give a gift on behalf of your parents. Make it happen, mashallah. Azam and Zahi, donation is from yearly pocket, mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. One thousand dollar takbir, mashallah, mashallah. Three to go, three more, one thousand dollar each. And we have seven to go for a $500. Remember your father. Remember your mother. Wallahi, they sacrifice. And they wish you the best. Nobody in this world wants you to be better than him or her. Except your father and mother. They wish that you are better than themselves. This is the time to sacrifice. This is the time to say thank you. MashaAllah, Chaudhary Mumtaz, Mumtaz from Chaudhary Mumtaz, mean excellent. May Allah reward you. $1,000 for my late father, MashaAllah, uh, and uh, inshallah, and late brother-in-law, Naveed Mumtaz, MashaAllah. May Allah accept from you, protect you, reward you, and benefit them greatly from your donation. Two more, two more, MashaAllah. $1,000 from, uh, pray for my parents, no name, Nadim Ashik, MashaAllah. I think we already mentioned it, huh? I'm not going to be copy paste here again. MashaAllah, we mentioned it on the on behalf, or, or this is different. Nadim, this is another donation. Nadim Ashik, or we have two Ashiks. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Nadim, I will consider it another donation. Number nine, Naila Al Adimi, MashaAllah, $500. Dua for her past away father. May Allah accept your donation and make it heavy in his scale. Allahumma ameen. Amin. One more Karim or Karima donor or donor come forward for a thousand dollar. One thousand, mashallah, mashallah. Hassan Shawa and family, three thousand dollar. Takbir. Mashallah, mashallah. May Allah reward you, accept from you, protect you in health and wealth. Allahumma amin, amin. Mashallah. That doesn't count among the thousand dollars. I ask for a thousand. We need one thousand dollar on behalf of your father or your mother. Even if you make it monthly, that's okay. Come forward, give a gift on behalf of your father or mother. Make it monthly, even if it is one hundred dollar. Make it happen, or even eighty-three dollar for a whole year on behalf of your late father or mother. Make it happen, or if your father or mother alive. Make a dua for Allah to protect them and give them immunity, peace of mind and tranquility and save them from our illnesses and still donate on their behalf. Brother Iqbal Ahmed Vora, $1,200 takbir. We're still missing one, $1,000, six, $500. MashaAllah. Oh, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So Nadim Ashik is not Layaqat Ashik. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. May Allah reward you, accept from you. That's why I documented it. Number nine, donation of $1,000 for Nadim Ashik. May Allah accept from you, reward you, protect you, inshallah ta'ala, and save you all, inshallah. We need one more Kareem or Karima, Amina and Zainab and Ahmad. 
Make dua for our parents and grandparents. Takbir, mashallah. $1,000 from Amina, Zainab, and Ahmed. May Allah accept from you. Reward you, protect you, and your parents. Allahumma ameen. I'm going for the $500. I have three minutes to go. I need your help. I can do it by myself. MashaAllah. Ammar and Huda. $1,000. Takbir. MashaAllah. We got 11 gifts. MashaAllah. Ammar and Huda. $1,000. Takbir. We have three minutes to go. We need your support. Give me $500. I'll take them. Somebody who texted Imam Adnan, Yasin, Jafar, Hussam, come forward. You text the community members. Tell them, donate. Better donate or else I will make dua for you. Either way, we make dua for you. And by the way, even if you do not donate and you know that you can donate or you wish to donate, you will get the same reward, inshallah ta'ala. If you didn't have the ability to donate now, but you want the companionship with your sincere intention, you will get the same reward, inshallah. But the most challenging task is when you have the wealth, if you have a thousand dollar in your bank account and you can sacrifice, this is the time. At least we need the five hundred dollar. We it is time to upgrade because all what I have is two minutes. I need uh, six more to come. Mashallah, Mian Nasir would like to donate five hundred dollar on behalf of late father. Jazakallah khair. May Allah reward you. Accept from you, brother Mian Nasir, and and protect you and your family members. Allahumma amin. Five hundred dollar. We have five to go. I have two minutes and I need $500 times five. Or someone come forward with a $2,500. MashaAllah, Ammar and Huda, we already mentioned it, undocumented it. I'm not counting it. Two minutes, $500, just $500. Even if you make it monthly, come forward and make it happen. On behalf of your father or mother, those who loved us a lot, those who guided us, those who took us to learn the Quran, Liaqat Asher here again. MashaAllah. I love you, brother Ashik. MashaAllah. Your name, by the way, Ashik means a lover, MashaAllah, in Arabic. May Allah love you, inshaAllah, and enable the love of in the heart of the believers for you in this dunya and in the hereafter. Giving $500 for each of my family members. MashaAllah. Rubina, Mumtaz, MashaAllah. Ahmad Khan, Iman Khan, and Hafsa Khan. And myself, Allahu Akbar. That is a total of $2,500. May Allah accept from you. Layaqat Ashat and the gang members. I'm sorry, I have family members. MashaAllah, the gang is the good gang here, MashaAllah. When your family members are around you, playing, making noise, making fuss, praying, someone is reading the Quran, someone is coming and hugging you, someone is coming and say, I love you. That is a peace of mind. That is happiness. That is a joy. That's a gift from Allah. That's a blessings. That's a bounties. We should thank Allah. Brother Liaqat Ashik, you and your family members, Rubina Mumtaz, Ahmad Khan, Iman Khan, Hafsa Khan, may Allah protect you all in your health and in your wealth. Save you from all hardships, from all diseases. May Allah bless you and substitute this khair for you and make your life fruitful and joyful and may Allah accept from you mashallah Miss Mali mashallah from Parveen Rana $1,000 for her parents takbir may Allah reward you accept from you protect you in health and wealth Allahumma ameen ameen jazakallah khair barakallah feekum can we give it a couple of more minutes inshallah see if we can get $500 two more minutes mashallah $200 Aisha Muhammad mashallah may Allah reward you we need to close However, if you can come forward, please come forward. Make it happen. If you are planning or are having intention, but shaitan is blocking you, make istighfar. Make istighfar that Allah will remove the power of shaitan away from you and give you the courage of the good believer to give, mashallah. Zahid Nazir, $200 for my in-laws. May Allah reward you and accept from you. Mashallah. I need to close and say, mashallah, you came forward. Some of you came forward for a 25, mashallah, several for a 10,000, many for 5,000 and 2,500. May Allah accept from you, reward you, protect you, put the barakah in your community and in your sadaqat. Increase the love in the hearts of the believers for you and around you and save your community from all the diseases, from all the harmful things and inshallah enable you 
to have a great, great Islamic work and advancement of full-fledged Islamic center around you and benefit you. MashaAllah, another thousand dollar from Samir bin Antar. MashaAllah, takbir. May Allah reward you, accept from you. Put the barakah in your sadaqah. I do not want to take the time from others, or, uh, the other segments of the program. I know that, mashallah, Sheikh Hassan Shibli, another leader, mashallah, prominent uh, attorney from Florida, will join back again and will ask you for more donation. So let me leave a room for him. Maybe another people, may Allah reward you, Brother Samir, bin Antar, and protect you and your family, and make them qurra to ayn lak And all those who donated, may Allah make your family members qurra to ayn. Qurra to ayn mean a coolness of your eyes, a joy, a deep joy in your heart, a true happiness that you live with it. You enjoy it. You thank Allah for it whenever you see your family members, when you are around them, when you hear about their good news and their, mashallah, advancing in this life in, in a way that is pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah put the barakah in the efforts of each and everyone who did great job in preparing for this event, whether they are known or unknown. You know that Allah know you all. May Allah reward you and reward the leadership of the Albani Muslim community for inviting me again to be with you. May Allah enable us to see each other again and again more often and more important in Jannah. May Allah enable us to be called to see him without any barriers between us. Allahumma ameen, ameen. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم بارك الله فيكم وجزاكم الله خير keep up the good work we are growing and inshallah ta'ala, our impact is getting bigger and bigger. And may Allah accept and purify our intentions. Jazakumullah khair. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. And I'm back to my coffee. Takbir. Jazakumullah khair. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب My dear brothers and sisters wherever you are السلام عليكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Al-Akh uh, Ayman, my dear brother Ayman, Jazakallah Khair, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for a great job. As usual, you have done a great job. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you health. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give barakah in your time and in your effort. And for you, brothers and sisters, Jazakumullahu Khairan, may Allah reward you for your contribution, for your participation. As usual, you always come forward and be part of the programs of our masjid, programs of the community, and you are there whenever we needed you. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for all that. Point number two, I would like you also to know that we, uh, we, we, are, we, uh, we care for you and we, we missed you throughout all this time. There are some of you whom we see uh, now and then in the, in the masjid and community, but many of you, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we are unable to see you. And we would like to tell you and your family and your children that we love you, we care about you, and we hope and we wish that soon, inshallah, we would like to see you back in the masjid. We would like to see you, to see your children playing in the masjid, learning in the masjid, participating in the programs of the masjid. We missed their noise. We missed their activities and running around the masjid. I tell you, you don't know how much we miss them. The next point I would like to tell you as well is that this is our community. It's a community of love. 
Can you see the love that's being generated with this fundraising? Although we are not together as we used to, we are not together as we used to feel the warmness of your presence. But Wallahi al -Azim, I tell you, I feel that warmness through this technology, through your sending of your donation. I feel the love. And that's what this community is about. This community, Al-Hidayah community, is about loving each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's about brotherhood and sisterhood. This community is about tazkiyah. It's about spending money. So then we build institutions. So then we will be able to be together. So then we can grow together as good Muslims, as good community for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Protecting our faith, protecting our identity, protecting our children and our future generation, protecting our youth. We would like to keep that going. That cannot be done by one person or by few people. It needs to be done by all of us getting together, putting hand in hand and working together. It's not just money. Money is only one item. But what is needed is the heart. When the heart is there, the rest will come. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spent years in Mecca building those hearts, building that character. And then when moved to Medina and start building that Muslim society, we have seen the fruits. That's what we need to do, my brothers and sisters, building that brotherhood, building that special unit of that masjid, like the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that has that foundation that we love each other for no other sake of dunya so for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can you see all that love of all your donations expressed on behalf of your parents on behalf of the poor on, on behalf of those who are dead on, on behalf of the sick on behalf of so many things but actually those are only means but the aim is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters, I can't thank you enough for what you are doing. You are the core of this community. Without you, there is nothing that can be done. First is the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second is your help, your participation, and your dua. And please don't forget to make dua for us. For dua for those who started this community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us. Among those who really put the foundation for the community and laid the ground for generations to come to be successful, there are those who passed away and they are gone. There are those who migrated to some other areas, but there are those who are still around. It's the barakah of those people who worked so hard to put together all what we are seeing now as fruits. And we can do the same. You can do the same for generations to come. Don't you want to think 20 years from now, maybe 50 years from now, where many people who will come and be able to perform salah in this masjid, be able to be educated in this school, be able to benefit from the programs of this community for many years to come. And they will remember you and they will make dua for you. And they will say, may Allah give rahmah to the people who established all these things for us. Your center needs you. Your center needs you, not just your money, needs you. Needs your love, needs your heart. Your center needs your participation. Your center needs your mind, your expertise, your talents. You know, without that, we don't have a community. The community is not only the walls and the buildings. The community is the men and women who are dedicated to make this happen, to build institutions.
our community alhamdulillah is known for that is known for the love of each other for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are not willing to sacrifice that for anything we are not willing to sacrifice the importance of the concept of tazkiyah for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything else we will not call it success if we get anywhere without loving each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't call it success if we get anywhere without proper tazkiyah. We don't call that success. Real success is when we are building blocks for one another to reach to that strong building. مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَادِّهِمْ وَتَرَاحُمِهِمْ كَمَثَلِ الْجَسَدِ الْوَاحِدِ إِذَا اشْتَكَى مِنْهُ عُضُوْ تَدَاعَ لَهُ سائر الجسد بالحمى والصهر as Allah as Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم described this body of the believers just like one body if one part of it is suffering the rest of the body will suffer he described this this body of the believers just like building blocks one block supporting the other so my dear brothers and sisters may Allah reward you for this participation and we are looking forward to see you inshallah soon in the masjid and be able to participate and go further for uh for for doing so many things that we have them part of our vision may allah reward you jazakumullah khair and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all those who who prepared for this and made it successful may allah reward our brother ayman uh, our brother uh, uh, Hassan Shibli and those who participated in one way or the other to make this successful. And may Allah accept from you. May Allah accept from you your donations and make it grow for you in the day of judgment in Jannah. Bi idnillahi ta'ala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Salat Salam Allah Rasulillah, Allah Alihi wa Sahbihi wa Lah. Jazakumullah Khair, Sheikh Jafar, Sad Ayman. Alhamdulillah, what they have done, it's tremendous job. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala reward them tremendously. In very short time, briefly, brothers and sisters, it was the plan to share with you this information, and also while the fundraising was going on some people asked about the programs and the need of uh, why do we need fund uh, uh, brothers and sisters these programs i want to share with you some some uh, brief information about what's going on in the masjid so far we have the madrasa the learning program for the kids uh, we teach them quran and we teach them islamic studies tarbiyah and this program it's itself is about 400 students we are we have about 400 students we have about 37 uh, teachers and 17 assistants only in this program uh, and many students brothers and sisters in this program are in their financial need uh, assistant and they need support and of the sadaq al jariya of the hasanat that you may do for you on behalf of your uh, beloved ones is to sponsor uh, some of these students. This is uh, one program. The other program is, is youth. Is youth, and we, when we talk about youth, we are talking about middle schoolers and high schoolers. We mentor them. We 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 provide them with activities and programs and counseling and 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 uh, support that they need, especially under these uh, crucial years of their lives. And we have about 100 students in their youth program. Then we have a seminary. Seminary, brothers and sisters, the concept of the seminary is advanced in program. And we have adult seminary and we have youth seminary. In adult seminary, we have about over 100 students, more than 100 students uh, in their uh, adult seminary. And we have about 35 students in their youth seminary. And adult seminary and youth seminary is advanced, intensive ilm program. Those who are interested in seeking knowledge uh, and they want to dedicate time, energy to to to, uh, pro, to to seek knowledge. So, and we seek many objectives through these programs. One is we provide ilm for those who want to learn their deen, which is mandatory upon every Muslim. Number two is we provide teachers and mentors for our community. Number three is we 
train our own teachers through these programs, brothers and sisters. And there are many more objective, but I want to be, to be very brief. So I mentioned the mother, the 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 kids school part time after school program, which is 400 students, and then we have. Uh, 100 students in adult seminary and we have 35 students in their youth seminary and we have 100 students in their youth program on the top of that we have the maqra'a for adults brothers and sisters and the maqra'a is quran dedicated program where we have four levels in this maqra'a and sheikh Allah, sheikh hussein will will uh, uh, elaborate more on this and we have about more than over 100 students in this and it's for free this makara is for free. So it is upon us, brothers and sisters, to support these programs. We would like to, to keep the Quran free of charge, which means accessible for everybody, especially the Quran. This is the vision of the community. And then, brothers and sisters, on the top of that, in the school, we have over 100 students on waiting list. In the makara, we have almost 120 or 130 students on, on waiting list. So the support is we need more teachers, we need more space and facilities, we need to train teachers, and all this requires fund brothers and sisters. And of course, the fees and tuition we, uh, we will never cover the cost of these programs. On the top of that, we have the Islamic, the full-time Islamic school that we are building and we are trying to build. The, the 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 building itself as well as we're trying to build its resources human resources the curriculum the teachers the administrators and also that requires fund and money and support brothers and sisters all what i want to tell you is there are a tremendous amount of programs that even did not start did not start about daycare and the pre-k and uh, preschool and all these brothers and sisters to start, the plan is there, the vision is there, but we need support, we need fund. Uh, brothers and sisters, the best of Amal Saleh is to support people who are learning Quran, is to support the 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 uh, Amal Al Amal Saleh and people who are learning Quran and sponsor sponsor them for you or on behalf of your parents, on behalf of the beloved ones, and this is one of the best Amal Saleh that you can give to those who you love. So uh, this is uh, what I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, about these uh, programs. The total is about 800 students under these programs. And I would like Sheikh Hussam, inshallah, to uh, share with you some information about uh, uh, another segments in our uh, in our institution, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair, Sheikh Yassin. Barakallahu feek. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. First of all, I would like to thank all our مشايخ جزاهم الله خير and to thank all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, for your contribution or and for your donation today, إن شاء الله. And of course, uh, I I don't forget to to thank all the organizers who have been working on this virtual fundraising during these few weeks. Jazakumullah khair. May Allah reward all of them, inshallah. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, I want to share with you a couple things briefly, inshallah ta'ala. I joined this community just a few months ago, and I can tell you that this community is a special community. This community is amazing in terms of brotherhood, in terms of sisterhood, the spirit that is in, in this community is amazing. And this is the core, as uh, Sheikh Jafar mentioned, this is Ra's al-Mal of our community. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to protect it, inshallah. And throughout our educational programs, as Sheikh Yassin mentioned, one of our program as uh, educational team we are focusing on things that bring our community together so what is bringing us together al quran yajma'una as sunnatu tajma'una and the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the love of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam bring us together 
So that's why in our educational program, we are focusing on these aspects. And one of them, as Sheikh Yassin mentioned, and I will elaborate on that, inshallah, Barnamaj al maqraa Recently, a few months ago, we have started a new program in our masjid, which is al maqraa program. And this program is about uh, making Al-Quran Al-Kareem accessible and easy to get, easy to learn for everyone in our community, in our community, regardless the level, how is in, in reading or how is uh, in, in memorizing Al-Quran Al-Kareem. So within this program, we are offering uh, Al-Quran Al-Kareem, teaching Al-Quran Al-Kareem, the, the recitation and the pronunciation at Tajweed for free. It is 100% for free. And that's why I want to show you how important your contribution in this, in this fundraising and how uh, big the reward that you get, inshallah, of this uh, is big as well. So can you imagine that whenever one student is reading Al-Quran Al-Kareem and is repeating uh, one ayah or one page from Al-Quran Al-Kareem, you get the reward with him or with her. And you cannot imagine how big the reward is. Allah, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, من قرأ حرفا من كتاب الله فَلَهُ بِهِ حَسَنَةٌ وَالْحَسَنَةُ بِعَشْرِ أَمْثَالِهَا The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever recites one single letter from the book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he will get ten rewards. And can you imagine if we recite one line or one page from the book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? So we are talking about millions and billions of hasanat. And if you contribute in such a program, because this program is uh, is offered for free, meaning it is sponsored by you, uh, my dear brothers and sisters. So whatever your contribution, so you will get the reward, inshallah ta'ala, in this, in this program. Make sure that you make the intention and you have the, the sincere intention before you donate and donate generously and donate on behalf or your of your uh, parents of your of your relatives it's very very important to to do something that you benefit you in this dunya and in the akhirah inshallah uh, finally uh, i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of you to protect all of you and to protect our community inshallah ta'ala jazakumullah khaira والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد ورسوله الحمد لله رب العالمين it's a tremendous blessing from Allah سبحانه وتعالى to once again join one of the most beautiful communities الحمد لله the most beautiful Muslim communities in the U.S. Uh, that has really built a model example for an environment that strengthens the faith of our youth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tested us by virtue of allowing us to live in the West. We enjoy more freedom, more safety, more security to practice our faith than most Muslims throughout the world. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tremendous economic opportunity and the opportunities that we have to be successful intellectually, financially. These are tests from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Will we ultimately use the wealth and the success and the safety and the security that Allah has given us to turn away from Him? Or will we use it to achieve His pleasure, to serve His deen, to share the beauty of Islam in the United States and inshallah strengthen the faith, uh, not just of ourselves, but of future generations to come inshallah. Generations that can be a source of guidance and light 
for humanity, that can guide this nation to be a nation of peace and equity for the world. My brothers and sisters, uh, this is a beautiful opportunity we have, alhamdulillah, to leave a lasting legacy, not simply in the dunya, but for our meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by investing in uh, building this beautiful community center. Uh, please do excuse me that I'm driving uh, down. I'm not actually driving, I'm a passenger. Uh, it's a busy time of year. And in fact, I'm driving about three hours to meet with donors right now. Um, it's a year that many Muslim institutions are struggling, right? Many of them relied on in-person fundraising. And unfortunately, uh, because of the COVID crisis uh, and really the economic situation, our normal opportunities to fundraise aren't there, but nonetheless, still for those who want to give, uh, for those who are seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are many, many opportunities. And of course, my brothers and sisters, we live in a time when the enemies of Islam really are spending tremendous wealth to attack our faith, to attack our deen, to attack our community. When we watch the news, we see the situation, for example, of Muslims in France that have had many of their religious leaders investigated, many even arrested. Uh, Muslim institutions, masajid, shut down. They wish right now that they had the freedom that we have here. And it's really a, a golden opportunity from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the freedom that we currently have. If we use this freedom to build our community, to strengthen the Muslim identity amongst our youth, to show the beauty of Islam, then inshallah, by appreciating this freedom, by using this freedom, Allah will preserve it. But if we miss out on this opportunity and we hold back, then God forbid we could face the same tribulations uh, that other communities are facing. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, as I mentioned, tremendous safety and security, but it is a test for us, and we must use the freedom, the safety and the security that Allah has given us to share the beauty of our deen by building institutions such as this, subhanAllah, that has multiple a'imma, uh, beautiful programs of Islamic education, of tahqiz al Quran. My brothers and sisters, the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, literally for them to learn a few verses of the Quran, they lost family, they lost tremendous wealth, they lost so much in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can have our faith today. It is only through their sacrifice that we have our faith today. Likewise, if we want to preserve our faith for future generations, if we want our children to have the faith tomorrow, we must invest in it today. And ultimately, we know the truth. I mean, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made very clear that whatever wealth we hold back is wealth that will perish, is wealth that will not benefit us. The only wealth that lasts is the wealth we invest with Allah. And if we had the true understanding, we would realize that whatever donation we give before it even reaches the hands of our masjid, before it goes for the cause that we are giving it to, it is falling in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah will not forget those who place in his hand sadaqah, who entrust their wealth with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you to really push yourself right now to invest in building this house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know the one you're dealing with is the most generous, the most kind. Imagine if you build a house for him in this dunya, the palaces that he will build for you in the akhirah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, You will not attain piety and righteousness until you give up that which you love. You will only achieve the love of Allah when you sacrifice that which you love. Then of course, Allah has made wealth beloved to us. And to achieve his love, we must give some of that wealth and amount that we love to achieve the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, the question simply is, are we doing that tonight? And you know you're giving up something that you love when you feel a sense of pain when you give it up. So tonight, as you're making a commitment, as you're making your donation, as you're supporting this masjid, if you don't feel any pain, it means you haven't given up something that you love. You may love that. You may not love that hundred dollar bill, but maybe that thousand dollar check is something that you love. So push yourself, give that thousand. Remember, this is the Sadaqah Jariyah. Every letter that is learned of, of the Qur'an in the masjid, 
uh, and in the Islamic programs that you are supporting will be a source of rahmah and light for you till the day of judgment as the faith is preserved. As I mentioned, the enemies of Islam, they are spending millions of dollars to demonize our faith and we cannot allow any enemy of our faith to spend more out of their hatred than we spend out of our love. What we don't want is on the day of judgment, God forbid, if we are just a little bit short of achieving Jannah, that Allah shows us this opportunity. My servants, I gave you the opportunity to build this beautiful center. Look at the thousands of youth that learn Islam through the center. Look at the mountains and mountains of good deeds for those who supported this center. Had you just made a donation on that night, you would have shared in those rewards. We don't want to be of those that are left behind, my brothers and sisters. See. At the time of the, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there are those who were kept behind. They kept behind and may Allah bless our brother, mashallah, brother Jamshid, with that, who just did this $5,000 donation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiply it millions fold for you, my brother, and bless those to follow you, my brother. May Allah accept your effort. So remember, there were people who when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam invited them to give, they gave willingly and they were happy to give because they realized, Ya Allah, if I kept this wealth back, I would lose it. But entrusting it with you, Ya Allah, it is only going to grow and it will last forever uh, it, through the pleasure of Allah that comes with it and the paradise that awaits as a result of it. But there were people whose faith was not genuine, who were hypocrites, and thus they looked for every excuse not to give. Allahu Akbar. Brother Khan, mashallah, the Quat Khan with a $2,500 donation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meet you while he is smiling with you. You know, they say when Allah smiles towards you, there can be no judgment and no punishment for you. When Allah looks at his servant and smiles, khalas, that is guaranteed paradise. And we know that Allah smiles when he sees his servants genuinely and sincerely sacrificing for his sake. So let us make a sacrifice. A sacrifice is something you feel and we don't want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not having sacrificed for his sake, not ever having felt pain for his sake. Allahu Akbar, uh, Mashallah Nashat Ahmed, a thousand dollars on behalf of his late brother. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate his status and keep him amongst the ulama and siddiqeen and shuhada and reunite you with him at the Kawthar on the Day of Judgment. May Allah bless you and accept the effort. So we know that some of these people, they lack the faith and therefore they look for every excuse not to give. And Allah didn't say that they stayed back. Allah said they were kept back because Allah hated for them to sacrifice for the deen. They weren't worthy of it. Because to sacrifice for the deen, see when it comes to spending against the deen, Allah lets whoever spend as much as they want. But when it comes to spending to teach the deen, to preserve the deen, to build the deen, to strengthen Muslim identity, to share the beauty of La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, Allah only allows those whom He loves to utilize their wealth for such a noble cause. My brothers and sisters, our meeting with Allah is inevitable. We never know when that last breath will come. And we know that those who act when they die, they will ask to be brought back to the world. And they have only one wish. They will say, Ya Allah, let me go back. Why? So that I can give in charity. Because they, when they realize the power of charity, the reward of charity, the reward of sadaqa, the reward of building a mission, the reward of supporting an institution that teaches the deen, that teaches the sunnah, that engages in dawah, that spreads the love of Allah Muhammad When they realize the beauty of that, when they realize the reward of that, they will ask Allah that they be allowed to go back so that they could give in charity. My brothers and sisters, right now we are alive. We are healthy. Alhamdulillah, we have wealth. And Allahu Akbar, I see Brother Ahmed, mashallah, with a generous $200 donation. May Allah bless you and reward you. So now is our opportunity. I'm going to wrap up. Now is our opportunity. Let us give. 
let us have a moment whereby we can actually offer some sacrifice for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I encourage you all to do your best. Jazakumul khaira. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. الله وبركاته from Turkey they all have a number on them so if you would like to bid on them please put your bid on the on the text box this one is number one it is a, a beautiful Beautiful sale figure with with the with the lafzullah on it. The, the next item number two is is a very similar figure yeah. with 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 a clock on it, and this one is number two. And what the third that? item is again, it's a it's a large clock. And I'm sorry for the oh, okay. the glare, but it actually has Allah name Allah on it. The fourth item is very similar to the second item. It has Lafsullah and Lafsul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on it with, with a clock in the middle and name Allah on the top. The fifth item is the same clock as the third item. We have the number six is a crescent with the Lafsullah written on it. And we have a couple of them in a smaller version, which is a crescent with Lafsullah and Lafsul Nabi. And that's number seven. And we have a wall plate with Esma Ul Krishna in silver color. And we have the same one in gold color. And we have two additional items. This is item number 10. And item number 11, this is Lafsullah, Lafsul Nabi. And we have this figure of Mushaf in gold color. And that one is number 12. So we are going to start with number one. Again, this is a, this is a looks like it's a very heavy piece as well. Uh, it is gold color. This name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is written on it. Is there any bid for this beautiful item, and any proceeds from this is going to go to the Masjid, Inshallah Taala? Is there anyone who would like to take this home and and bid for it? What do we have? Who is it? 
So, so each of these items, the first two items are the bidding is starting at five hundred dollar. Is there anyone who is going to donate five hundred dollar and take this item home? This is for number one. Yeah. Okay, brother Sakub Chadri is bidding five hundred dollar for this. Is there anyone who would like to donate more? Yeah. Okay, brother Sam is saying five hundred and twenty-five dollar for number one. Is there anyone online who would like to donate more than this? Brother Saqib Chadri, mashallah, he said $1,000 for number one. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. Is there anyone who is going to top, top him? Sham, Sham Rahi. Sham Brother Sham Mirahi, for the first item, bid $1,100. Allahu Akbar. Is there anyone who is going to give more than $1,100 for this item? But it doesn't look like there is anyone else. So this item, number one, goes to Brother Sham for $1,100. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. So we are now moving on to the, the second item. The second item is, again, the bidding is starting at 11, I mean, for $500. This one is Lafsullah and Lafsul Nabi on right and left sides with name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the top and right in the center is a clock. It looks like it is made from the same material. It's, it's a very heavy piece. Is there anyone who is going to bid $500 for this item? <laughs> Brother Sakib Chadra, are you bidding on this item? Brother Sakib Chadri is bidding $500 for this item. Is there anyone who is bidding more than $500 for this? $525. Brother Hassan is bidding $525. A <laughs> 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 uh, brother Ridwan. I'm serious. Has bid two thousand dollar for this beautiful item. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. Allahu Akbar. Is there anyone who is going to bid more than two thousand dollar for this item and take this away from Brother Rudwan? All right, this item. Goes to Brother Ridwan for $2,000. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and bless his family and protect his family. We are moving on to the third item. Third item is a large wall clock with lafsullah on it. This one also starts with $500. Do we have $500 bidding on this item? This is a beautiful piece coming from Turkey. Anyone bidding $500 for this item? Okay, Masha, Brother Sakub again opens the bid for $500. May Allah reward them. Do we have $550 for it? Okay, brother Sakub, he asked himself and he bid $700. Is there anyone who is going to bid 750 for this item? Do we have a 750 for this item? Do we have a 750 for this item?
Brothers, this is a beautiful piece. Do we have $750 for this beautiful wall clock? So, all right, this item goes to Brother Sakub Chadri for $700. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. All right. I think we had a delay on the on the online system. Brother Isham bid $800 for the wall clock. And with that, this item goes to Brother Isham for $800. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and protect his family. We have the fourth item, which is identical to the second item. This is, again, a piece from Turkey. It is Lafsullah and Lafsul Nebi. There are two wow figures on the sides, on the right and left side, and on the top is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the center, there is a wall clock. Do we have $500 for this item? Allahu Akbar. Brother Sakub Chadri, now he's going high and he starts with $1,000 for this one. Is there $1,100? Is there anyone who is going to bid $1,100 for this piece? Brothers, anyone bidding $1,100? for this beautiful desk piece that came from Turkey. Uh, this item goes to brother Sakab Chadri for $1,000. May Allah reward him and protect his family. We have the, again, we have the second version of the, the first wall clock. It is a white background with Lafsullah on it. It's the same piece that came from Turkey. And this one is also starting with $500. Do we have anyone bidding $500 for this beautiful wall clock? This actually wall clock looks like it's about, about 20 inches to 24 inches high, about 18 inches wide. It's a large piece. I'm sure it would look beautiful in anyone's home. Is there a $500 bid for this wall clock? Okay, brothers, we're still waiting. Are we? Do we have five hundred dollar for this white background wall clock? Brothers, I'm told that I'm not allowed to go home until we sell all these. So please let me go to my family. Bid for this wall clock. We're looking for $500 bid for this wall clock, and all the proceeds are going to go to the masjid, inshallah ta'ala. Is there anyone bidding $500? Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward your sister Hind. Sister Hind bids $500 for this, for this wall clock. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect your family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show you beautiful days with your children, inshallah. Khair, this item goes to Sister Hint for $500. So the next item is a $300 item. It is Lafsullah. It appears to be about one feet high and about 10 inches wide. It's a heavy piece. It's another piece that came from Turkey. Would look beautiful on anyone's desk. And this one, the bidding is starting with $300. Do we have $300 for this, for this, walk, uh, for this uh, desk piece? Is there anyone bidding $300? Allahu Akbar, Brother Imran Khan bids $300. Do we have $350? Yeah, Again, brothers, this is this is a beautiful and uh, beautiful uh, exchange and tijara and business you're you're making. You're getting something, and all the benefits are going to the masjid. Brother Sakub Chadri is giving three fifty. Is there a four hundred dollar for this item? 
We're looking for four hundred dollar for this beautiful item. Okay, this item goes to Brother Sakub Chadri for Brother Hisham bids four hundred dollars. Mashallah, Mashallah. Is Brother Sakub, are you are you doing four fifty for this, or are you gonna let Brother Hisham take this piece? Brother Sakub Chadri is bidding five hundred dollars for Allahu Akbar. Brother Hisham is bidding five fifty. Brother Sakub goes to six hundred. Brother Hisham, you shouldn't let Brother Sakub take this. Is are we seeing seven hundred dollar from Brother Hisham? Do we have seven hundred dollar from Brother Hisham? Brother Sam, don't let Brother Sakup get this piece for six hundred dollars. Do we have seven hundred dollars? Fair, inshallah. This item goes to Brother Sakup for six hundred dollars. Now we have the smaller version of that piece, but they come in pairs. So this is. Lafsullah and Lafsul Nabi. Again. Hisham, Hisham yeah. For the first one? Yeah. Okay, we, we are going back to the first one. Brother Hisham bid $1,000 for Lafsullah. And again, this all because this is all going to uh, the masjid, we have to go back, take this piece away from Brother Sahib and give it to Brother Hisham for $1,000. May Allah reward you, Brother Hisham. The next item we have is, again, this comes in pair. This is Lafsullah and Lafsul Nabi. The bidding for this item, these two items together is $500. Do we have $500 for these two items? Okay, Brother Sakib Chadri wants to take all of this home. Is there anyone in the community who would like to take this from Brother Sakov? Is there a $550 for both of these items together? Again, you're, it, you're getting Lafsullah and Lafsul Nabi for $500. Is there a $550 for it? Khair, this one goes to Brother Sakab for $500. We have two of the same items, one in bronze color, the other one is in white color. This says on the right hand side is Lafsullah, on the left hand side, Lafsul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in the center, there is a there is a there is an ayah from Quran. It looks like it's an ayah from Surah Al Nun. We have a white version and bronze version. Both of them are starting at three hundred dollar each. So we'll start with the white one. Do we have a three hundred dollar for this piece? Brother Jamil is giving 550 for the white version of this beautiful piece. Do we have the six hundred dollars? Khair inshallah, mashallah. We are going to let this go to Brother Jamil for five hundred and fifty dollars. Now the bronze color. Is there a is there a three hundred dollar for the bronze color of the same piece? Mm -hmm. 
Again, we are waiting for $300 for this bronze piece. Is there a $300? Brothers, I'm seeing we have 65 people watching this. Is there anyone who is going to give $300 to the masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and take this with them? Is there one person who is going to be $300 for this item? Okay, we're still waiting, brothers. And I know it's getting late. And as I told you, they're not going to let me go until we finish this. Please do me a favor. Someone bid $300. Brother Saku, may Allah reward you. <laughs> Khair, we are moving on to the two items now. They are the same colors. Both of them. Both of them. One of them is a gold color, the other one is silver. It's the same or very similar piece. One of them, the gold one has tulip motif on it with uh, with Esmaul Husna. And then the uh, silver one is also uh, with Esmaul Husna. They are each $300. Is there anyone who is going to donate $300 for the silver one? We are going for the silver one first. Is there a Anyone who would like to get the silver piece and um, put it on their wall and also get the reward for donating to the masjid for $300. Is there any sister who is watching who would, who would like to get this and have, have her husband pay for it or her brother pay for it? I am sure they are not going to say no. So we are looking for $300 for the silver piece. Is there anyone who is going to donate $300 and take this piece home? Khair, if you want to bid on these two items, these are these, these are the Esmaul Husna. Please make a note on your bid if you, if you would like to get them. The last item is a musaf on this beautiful gold color and the bidding for this item is starting at three hundred dollar is there anyone okay a brother brother spani is uh, giving three hundred dollar for the gold esmal husna and he takes that one home is there anyone who's going to give $300 to this beautiful Musaf? There is absolutely no price for a Musaf. And there is there is, there is is no dollar amount. But Brother Rudman Sefkawi is donating $300 to take this beautiful piece home. Is there anyone who's going to give $400 for this Musaf? Are we hearing $400? Okay, brother, brother Sakup is donating four hundred dollar. Now, Rudwan, are you are you gonna let brother Sakup take this, or are you are you going to go four fifty for it? Silver is there. Yes, three hundred. Yeah, somebody called. Yes, let's take a look. Okay, yeah. The silver, silver, Lafsullah, Esmaul Husna has also been sold for for a uh, three hundred dollar. And brother Sakup. Out this Ridwan again for five hundred dollar for the Musa. Shima Benchata is giving five hundred dollar for the Musa. Is there anyone giving five fifty? Five hundred. Yeah. Five fifty. Sakub Chadri is giving five fifty for this beautiful Musa figure. Is there a is there a six hundred? 
Allahu Akbar. Brother Ridwan is giving six hundred dollar. And Sister Shayma, are you going to are you going to give seven hundred dollar for this and take this home? We're waiting for seven hundred dollar from Sister Shayma. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Sister Shayma takes seven hundred dollar. Now, since this is for the message, we gotta keep going to see who is going to outfit this. Allahu Akbar, Ridwan is giving 750 for it. May Allah reward you, brother Ridwan. Now it looks like this is this is this 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 turn of Allahu Akbar. Sister Shaima is saying eight hundred dollars for it. We're waiting for brother Sakub to now say thousand dollars. That's what we're waiting from brother Sakub now. Is there anyone who is Allahu Akbar? Ridwan, Ridwan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala get you into the Jannah quicker than most of us, inshallah. Look at him, I mean, he's, he's racing, he's, he's really racing. Allahu Akbar, brother Saqib is giving $1,100. Sister Shayma is giving 12 Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. What a beautiful community we have, that we are actually racing for doing higher for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for donating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What an amazing thing, what an amazing feeling. Wallahi, most communities don't have this. Brother Saqib is giving $1,200, but Sister Shema had already bid $1,200. Allahu, brother, Allahu Akbar, brother, Ridwan gives $2,000 for this Musaf piece. $2,000. Is there anyone who is going to outfit Brother Rudman? MashaAllah, leading by example. Look at that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Brother Rudman and his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have rahma on his mother. Is there anyone who is going to outfit Brother Rudman? We have $2,000 from Brother Rudman for this piece. Uh, this is going once. Going twice. Is there anyone who is going to act with Brother Radwan for $2,100? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Brother Idris, another generous person in our community. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and protect him. Brother Idris bids $2,500 for this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect your family, Brother Idris. Let's make dua for him. Is there anyone who's going to outfit Brother Idris? He, uh, he bid $2,500. We are looking for $2,600. Is there a $2,600? $2, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Brother Ridwan is bidding $3,000 for this Musaf piece. Now, I know Brother Idris, and I know he how generous he is. And I am sure we are waiting for something from Brother Idris right now. And he's just thinking about how much more he wants to give, not how little, how much more he wants to give. So who is going to outfit Brother Ridwan from $3,000? We're waiting. We're waiting for our community to out with this. Yes. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Brother Idris is bidding $3,500 for this piece. Now this is... All right, we are, we are, we are looking for an art bid from a community from Brother Idris who bid $3,500 going once. Allah Akbar, brother Ridwan is bidding $4,000. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Brother Ridwan bid $4,000 for this item. Again, brother, this, the race that we have is we are trying to spend more for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like the Sahabis did. 
in the times of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is a beautiful thing. Is there anyone who is going to ask with Brother Ridwan from $4,000 and everything is going to go to the masjid and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is kareem and he's going to multiply this and multiply it and bring it in front of you in the mizan inshallah. Is there anyone who is going to ask with Brother Ridwan from $4,000? Is there anyone who is going to bid $4,500 for this item? We are looking for $4,500 for this item. Again, competing to spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What a beautiful night we have and what a great way to end the night. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect this community. Is there a $4,500 for this item? We're waiting for $4,500 and then inshallah we'll, we'll be able to go home. <laughs> inshallah ta'ala, inshallah ta'ala. We're now, for now we're looking for $4,500. Is there a $4,500 who is going to take this piece home and donate for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to this message? $4,500 going once. Is there anyone? $4,500. $4,500. Anyone? Going twice. We are going to give you one more chance. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you, brother Idris. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. $4,500. Going once. Going twice. Allahu Akbar, brother Radwan. $5,000. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahi, wallahi, you know, the, the joy that I have right now, just to witness this, just to witness this, truly watching two brothers competing to give more for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is $5,000 right now. We hear about these stories, right? We hear about these stories from the, from the people from you know, the times of Tabi'in and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the, and the Sahabas. But now, look at this. Brothers are competing to give more for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here or not. I'm busy bidding. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. What a show. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, except from all of us, inshallah, um, and uh, and reward all of us, those that donated and those that did not. Um, inshallah, we'll have a closing dua now um, from Sheikh Jafar. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Before we close, there are two points I would like to make First of all, thanking everybody who participated May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you It really brought the atmosphere and the feeling that we used to have for many fundraisings many years ago especially with Sheikh Mukhtar that he used to keep us way, way late and feel that atmosphere of being in a night of ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you, all of you who participated. So the two items that I would like to mention, number one, uh, actually a while ago, I was talking to Brother Ahmed Yusuf and he was giving me some information. That information is for all these donations that you are giving, and much of it is given to uh, uh, manage the masjid and the programs of the masjid and building the, uh, the infrastructure, just like building the school. But there is also a donation that's being collected, like zakat, like sadaqa, that's being given. That's being given to many, many other areas that are in need. Some of it locally, and a lot of it is given to uh, many areas in Africa, in Asia, for those who are poor, for those who are struggling to have food, for those who are like uh, like many, I, I'm not going to mention one group or the other, there are many. And uh, Brother Ahmed Yusuf was telling me that for the past three years, we have distributed between Sadaqa and Zakat and Zakat al-Fitr is 1 million and 100,000. 1 million and 100,000 dollars being distributed as food, as 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 help for the the poor people in many many regions in the muslim world and i would like to thank you for all that so rest assured that your sadaqa your zakat your donation is being used properly and may allah reward you for all that and then the next item the next point before i close i have a surprise for you with all the good work that's being done alhamdulillah by uh, by uh, our brother uh, Ayman Aishat and by uh, our dear brother uh, Hassan Shibli and by all of you, there is one donor who would like to make a surprise and wanted to keep that surprise towards the end. Would like to make a big donation on behalf of the poor people, the people who are struggling, the people who are being uh, who are being transgressed upon in many many regions in the world would like to make a donation on their behalf. And this donation is $100,000. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward this donor. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect her and protect her family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslim ummah, especially those who are struggling, those who are under a lot of oppression. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make their life easier. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lift this transgression and this 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 uh, aggression uh, from them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open the doors of rahmah for them and for all of us. So again, for the donor, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect your family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you in all goodness in this life and in the next one. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you happiness in this life and in the next one. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring you with this donation closer to him and grant you the love, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what a good khitam. This is a good ending, a good ending that is such a night was a blessed night. Such a night was a night of ibadah. And those of you who participated in organizing all this, all of you, may Allah reward you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your families and bless your parents, bless all what you are doing and make it make it purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we are going to end and we say Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. The announcement was done that the donation received is about $300,000, $308,000. MashaAllah. So we are closer to our goal. Again, 
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته